All right, here we are in the editor stage and I've already tried recording this once and it failed so I had to do it all over again so you'll have to excuse me if I sound tired um, and a little annoyed <laughs> because I am um, but yeah um, so yeah in this part we will go through the stage here in the editor and we will try and see what perhaps I would have done differently and I will try and keep it brief no more than 15 minutes hopefully um, you know I don't wanna spend too much time on making those you know 30 to 40 minutes long episodes because it's just a hell to you know put together in the editor and it's hell to <laughs> it's hell to rebuild so many rooms because it takes so much time and yeah so yeah we will keep it brief um, and perhaps just look into the first or two rooms here um, yeah, these arrows here are supposed to, you know, point it down to fall, um, but we otherwise could do, this is not necessarily what you need to do here in this stage, but, you know, just a general quick tips for anyone watching, like, if you really want to, um, try and funnel a player down a hole, like, um, you could uh, always just, you know, add a ladder, that's pretty much a foolproof way of, you know, showing the player that you can indeed go down. Here in this case, you know, obviously we jump along here and, you know, we hit the wall and so, you know, you, you gotta figure that, okay, you probably need to fall down here. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's how I did it anyway. So yeah, I'm just making this a general tip, I guess, you know, how you can go about doing it. You know, it, it, it might seem like an obvious one, you know, putting a ladder, but um, it's not always <laughs> that obvious. Um, oops. But yeah, there was one part room in particular that I wanted to show here. Like, if you just take the time slow, well, we don't really need it. Let's just leave it there. This room here, that it, you know, really, I, that I thought about. Um, like, when you go here and you know, jump in, it feels a little bit awkward moving through here. Like, first off, in my opinion, a little bit awkward there. So we might take a look at that, and then we come in here, and you know, it's a neat little puzzle here. You know, we have to just go back and forth and. <laughs> we have to go back and forth and basically easiest just get back there okay so yeah we basically just have to go back and forth here and you know try and you know keep ourselves alive and you know then we may proceed here yeah, nothing too difficult there um but it does feel you know with that side it does feel a little bit flat so yeah i did al already do a rework of this room in my uh, other recording that I scrapped so I will just load that room up and I will be back with the results so yeah see you in a sec okay so here we are um, here I have changed up the layout a little bit of it um, and yeah so let's just try and play it out here and see how it works actually was everything yeah, I was not quite done. I wanted to fill this in as well, and here, yeah. So, like, basically what I did here, like, first off the checkpoint, um, I, I did not change the left side here, but basically what I did was, I don't know, to me this feels a little bit better. Maybe you want to raise the roof here a little bit too, or raise this one, or, you know, um, you could also, you know, I guess just, you know, um, bridge this together or whatever I don't know what looks and feels best um, but yeah I just left the gaps in here because they were there to begin with so uh, yeah so basically you know it feels a little bit less awkward to enter this opening now and now since it's also a little bit more curved and it has some more shapes to it it also is a little bit more interesting to look at I feel like uh, in my opinion um, yeah, and see here the timing of the Yoko blocks. I talked about this earlier on in the episode. Um, let's try and figure out a good way so that the player always will hit the pound a quicker rotation here. So like, if we go in now, we began at one, I believe. Yeah, see, that's that's way too long. Um, starts at one um yeah it has to go the whole cycle maybe 
Wait, am I stupid? I don't I have not placed down Yoki's here. Okay, okay. One, five, five, one. Then go back and forth here, like with Gracious Original ID, while waiting for this one. Four, five, okay. Let's see that now. You know, every time you die and respawn, um, it's ideal if you don't have to stand here and wait too long. Yeah, we can even shorten this by another second here. You know, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just a nice thing, you know, to do. Uh, you know, if you die, so that when you go back or rush back in, you know, you know what to expect and you just want this to spawn quickly. And then we, you know, had to do this, like in the original stage. Go down here. And that's not right. Extend, and then we try again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, this isn't anything spectacular that I came up with here, but I feel like, yeah, it is, it involves a little bit more movement, and I think that it, I don't know, I think that it flows a little bit um, more smoothly uh, than it did before. Um, yeah, I don't know, but as I said, it's nothing spectacular. This is how I changed it up either way. And here to my other point that I mentioned, as you might remember during the stage, I, meant, I mentioned the, the timing from this room linked to this one as well. So like here we end on one. That means we would probably want all of these here to be on three, for example. And you know, four, oh no, actually this was a fiver. Two, Yeah, and these are four. I believe that's right. So yeah, let's just let's just play this once more. <clears throat> that is. Go back and forth, and we're here, and yeah, the time as well, and we get here, and now. Hmm. Yeah, see that it still doesn't quite time correctly. This should be a two. It is a little bit finicky and you know I guess you can't really know certainly always because the player might start shimming and you know taking extra time there but wait a minute four yeah four one three 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 Okay, so one less, <laughs> one less go. Let's just see how this works out. Yeah, we're already up to eight minutes. Yes, time is, time just flies. Time just flies. That is pretty difficult actually to do that, but yeah. Okay, see now I missed one block there, but you get the point. Um, now when we get in here, like it's perfectly timed so that it just goes on at once and you, the player can start moving. Um, it, it is a nice thing, I think, you know, for people who die many times around, you know, they, they just want to get on and, you know, start learning. I think that's a nice way to go about doing it. It's not necessarily by, necessary by any means, but yeah, you know. Let's see here. I mean, most of these, <laughs> most of these rooms are fine, I think. Um, oh yeah, this, this here could be another uh, room that we just quickly remake. I remember this. Like we got down here and we got s not stuck and die, but like yeah, like I feel like personally I feel like this here is a little bit cramped. It's rather crampy. <laughs> it's crampy. Um, first of all, I would probably extend this well out here, and you know, it's just oh yeah. Look, you can actually change the color of this now. That's <laughs> pretty neat that I added that, and I probably lower this too so that we get. This, although it's hard to say. Hmm. Hard to say. You know, I'll I'll be back in a sec and I will see what we can do about this room to make it a little bit more um, spacious here. And that will probably be the last thing. I'm sorry, it feels a little bit rushed, but yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in a sec. All right, so we are back here again. Um, yeah, I went back to this thing here, like as you can see, it's um, and the this one is back here too. And I also dragged up the ceiling a little bit. Um, 
basically when you came in here earlier, like it felt a little bit cramped, and I don't think the red lasers that were here, they don't, didn't really have a purpose other than making it cramped for the player. Like they don't need to be there to enforce, you know, the you know, to enforce that the player doesn't cheat and you know bypass this because you still need a super arrow. Um, basically, I think this is like I just think it's nice that we have more room, you know, to wiggle room to move around here, like. I mean, if the player goes out here, they aren't as likely to get, you know, a cheap shot, you know, on their way back because, you know, now they can easily grab the ladder and, you know, um, basically just make their way back and these red lasers won't be here to um, almost <laughs> positively kill you. Um, you could avoid them before, but it was just very strict um, and I feel like the game or the stage punishes the player almost a little bit for scouting. Um, you know, just for looking a little bit to the right there. Then again, even if you die, it's not such a big uh, deal. Remove trick and these pillars and everything will show up right here. But yeah, um, I hope hopefully this at least was somewhat fun to watch. Um, uh, yeah, we had that and I only rebuilt this, you know, to make it a little bit more spacious and, you know, once again, perhaps a little bit more can be changed around here, you know, to make it more exciting to navigate. Um, but yeah, I can't really come up with anything right now, I just need to do something else here, yeah, I'm just... I'm just dead, you know, <laughs> just really dead. Yeah, let me see this. What is this? This is nothing spectacular. This is just, this is just all. Yeah, I will just um, <laughs> leave this episode here. I, for the most part, I really liked this stage. It was really hard. My favorite part was probably you know the climbing section with Yoko blocks. I really liked the underwater segment here too. Um, it was nice and breezy <laughs> to go through. This segment here was pretty hard. Um, yeah, this was really hard actually. It was probably the hardest section. Um, but yeah, it was doable without this special weapon. So yeah. Um, Pretty nice stage overall. I will just, yeah, I will just leave it at that. Hopefully, I could show up some neat things, but yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, I could show up some show off some neat things for you. So yeah, I will just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.